and uh, just sincerely, I do want to work with, with, with you, I want to work with your company. I, I just have a little problem with um, your interest rates. For example, if I had to take 300 million from you guys, what would I be paying back? Our company has the lowest interest rate in this country. Okay. We promise we're not going to abandon you after the loan. We want to be part of your company. We want to monitor the, you know, the daily records in your company. So at least it has some advantages. It could help you make fewer expenses and encourage efficiency. Sir, so, it, it might interest you to know that we didn't just come in here to try our luck. Mm. We at this is finances have been monitoring your company for months, and our findings are impressive, sir. Mm. Good, good. Um, yeah, like I said earlier on, I'm, I'm sure we can do something together. We, we, we can work something out. Uh, but I'll just ask for a little more time. You know, let me just do a little investigation. What, let me use the right word. Let me just consult a few people. You know, and then I'll get back to you. Right? Okay, we so. have all the time, sir. Right. Uh, we'll come back in, say, two weeks yes. from now. No problem. By then, you must have decided on what to do. Never if you want to ask any questions, you can tell me. Okay, no problem. Alright, sir. Thank you very much. Disturbing yourself over nothing. The lady you saw means nothing to me. It's, it's not about what you saw or what you didn't see. I have never been unfaithful to you, and I'm not ready to stop it. The lady you saw, her name is Sam, she works for Daisy's finances. She came here to sell her product, market her product, that's all. So, are you going to hug a woman in the name of marketing? Lots of marriages have broken down. I've been threatened, destroyed, because one woman from nowhere. Give me a little more credit. Okay? I was just being nice. That's all. Come on. See, you must be careful of little foxes that are into this unacceptable business of destroying vineyards. What do you mean little foxes? There are no foxes anywhere. Tony now keeps late nights. And that is because his business has grown. Besides, he virtually does everything. Sophie, the said Sandra, like Tony told you, is a marketer from a financial institution. So I just feel you should trust your husband. I'm not arguing if she's a marketer or not. She can be a marketer or a trader for all I care. All I am saying is that I smell the rats. How could you forget Njideka's story so soon? She kept on telling us, hmm. Hmm, I smell rats. And we kept up saying, oh, stop smelling, stop smelling. But she kept on smelling the rats, and later on, what happened? She was vindicated. I am smelling my own rats now. Something is wrong. See, Sophia, you have to stop comparing your husband with Njideka's husband. If you see a man who is a Casanova, or even has tendency of becoming one, you will know. Your husband is a very nice person. Okay, so I just feel you should trust him, please. Seriously. Just be here.
Is this really my the, the food I served you? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful food. I like it. Really? It looks different, like. It looks as if it's not like, I don't know. Yes, let us not mind. Because I'm already eating the food and I'm enjoying the food. Great. I like this food. You said it's the best. This is the best. <laughs> Sophie, if someone called me and told me that you don't trust me, I would never believe it. I do trust you, man. I do. But our home is a human home. We'll have to do everything humanly possible to ensure that we're on the right path. That is exactly what I've been doing. Staying on the path of progress. I mean, the bank saw me. They came to me. They know what I'm doing is good. And they decided to give me a loan of half a billion now. Yes. I just need you to understand that, sweetie. Must you collect that loan? Yes, sweetie. Don't you want me to take the loan? I'm not trying to override your decisions. My love, you have run that company for years without a loan from anybody. Why now? Because. It can turn the company into something else. It will put me on a different pedestal against my colleagues. It could even turn the company into a multinational. Like I said, I didn't go chasing them. They came after me because they know I'm good at what I do. They give me the money, and now better still, they even give me someone to monitor our spending just to bring about effectiveness. That is my problem. That is what I'm not comfortable with. Because what is their business, how efficient or effective the company is? What's their business? I know. You can't imagine what people go through just to qualify for a loan in a bank. And then in your case, the bank comes after you and offers you half a billion naira. I am not comfortable with the news 
the bearer, and everything about it. Oh, my love, I'd really appreciate it if you could stop any form of negotiations you're making with them. Please. What is wrong? Put yourself in their shoes. If you're giving somebody money, and you decide to monitor it, what is wrong with it? The bank has given me money and given me someone to monitor the money. What is wrong with it? Construe my purpose here. I don't want it to look as if I'm burgeoning into your family affair. Okay? But the truth is that this one actually concerns me because it has to do with business. If you will agree with me, very few company or business will survive without financial assistance from banks or maybe any financial institution. I believe you know that. Yes, I do agree with you. But Tony's business has survived by itself without loan from anybody. Why now? Why? I am not comfortable with the company agent that I caught up embracing my husband. I'm not comfortable with her. Okay, I think I'm beginning to get the picture now. Would that be right to say that, okay, your challenge is not really with Tony collecting the loan, but probably with the agent that brought the offer, right? Probably, yes. I mean, how can we all forget so soon what happened to Njideka? How can you both forget? A noble woman, somebody she trusted so much, was the person who finally bewitched her husband and took him away from her. Until now, she has not gotten over the shock. I don't want my family to remember so. Well, it's okay. I I understand now. I understand you perfectly well. I will discuss intensively with Tony. Okay, I'll discuss with him and see what we we'll come up with. All right, and I will get back to you. But Sophia, I want you to understand one truth. Tony, your husband, is a very responsible man. He's an honorable man, and he sees you as the best woman in the world. I can vouch for him that he will not do anything that will jeopardize your happiness. I want you to know this truth today. That's what your wife told me, and I'm sure that's what everybody told me to take her to when she first started smelling a rat. Please, I don't want anyone to destroy my marriage. That loan that wants to destroy my marriage should please go. <laughs> it's alright. Problem. 
it will be sorted out. Okay. Just don't be everything will go out well, alright? I'll be on my way now. But Sandra, I cannot just come to terms with approving a loan of half a billion to someone who did not apply for loan. Such a fellow may not know how to manage it. I understand, sir, but we have our plans now. Tell me those plans. I have everything written down, sir. Let me hear them. Sir, um, we are going to assign the staff of our company. So at least we need someone who will be going through his records on daily basis. That's the best way to ensure that the loan is well managed, sir. Have you discussed with the managing director of the company and he agrees that our staff will scrutinize their records on a daily basis? We have discussed with him, sir. He has no problem in that, sir. And then um, we've monitored him enough to know he doesn't spend money recklessly. So I'm very, very sure that his company is ideal for the loan. So what about other businesses I asked you to understudy? Uh, I have the files, yes. About this all the time. What's the problem? Why are you complaining because I help someone who is in trouble? Why? Look, Larry, you met a girl on the street, and in the course of your rendering her a lift, you ended up bringing her up. You didn't stop there. You still went ahead to sleep with her. Is that the problem? That I slept with her? Jeremy, is she not a beautiful woman? Why are you making every effort to provoke me? Why? My problem is not that you slept with her. After all, there are women of easy virtue, littered and scattered everywhere. So whatever you decide to do with them is entirely your business. Yeah. Let me get it straight. What's your problem? No, are you telling me that it has become a fundamental offense for me to walk into this bar in the afternoon and drink my beer and go in peace? Is that what they're saying? My problem is that you are now living with that girl in your house. Oh my goodness! Jeremy, are you not the same person that I told that she was stranded? Why are you angry because I help a citizen of this country who is in trouble, who is stranded? Why? Is that not what they say? Help people in trouble, citizens in trouble, help them? Is that not what they say? Larry, first is that you don't know if she's a citizen or not. Secondly, you cannot prove whether she was stranded at the time you met her or not. Man, stop digging your own grave. Learn from other men's mistake. That girl is not right for you. Oh, let me get it straight. Let me get it. Are you are you telling me that you send her back to the streets or something? Come on, Jeremy. That lady is someone's sister. She could be your sister, you know. Larry, the only thing you know about that girl is that her name is Juliet. Of course, that's her name, Juliet. Wonderful name. Don't you like Juliet as a name or something? You don't even know her siblings. You don't know her parents. You don't know her surname. You don't even know where she comes out from. Even the last address she gave you, you're not bothered to check it up, have you? Listen, Jeremy, I don't have any business checking up her, her last address. Because I don't need it. Nonsense last address. I don't need nonsense last address. That lady has a new address now. That new address is my house. If anyone is looking for her, that person must come to her new address. My place, my house. Jeremy, why are you doing this? No, why are you asking me to get rid of a lady who has proved to be the best lady on earth? Why are you doing this, Jeremy? Listen to me, Jeremy. I am working on her. And she's working on me. The truth is that we are working on ourselves. Listen, I am enjoying what I am doing. And I can bet you that she is equally enjoying the very wonderful time she's having in my company. Can we drink this beer, please? Can we? Larry. Yes. You used to tell me you are the son of your father. Exactly. Sincerely, I am willing to doubt if that is true. 
Should I tell you the truth, Jeremy? You're an idiot. What? You call me an idiot for being sincere with you, for telling you the truth? I didn't say idiot, you mean small idiot. I mean to say that you are a very big idiot. Fundamental idiot. Now tell this guy, idiot. I am a big idiot. No, no, no. I don't have a problem. I'm very comfortable. I just didn't know you would have been the one. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right, sir. Thank you very much again. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. All right, Sandra. Nice to meet you. See you guys. Listen to me, there is one question that you have to answer immediately. Who is the person that you said just left your house? The one you called Juliet. The one you picked from the streets and then lives in your house. Come, are you the one she called her fiance? Jeremy, are you sure you are still okay? As in sound? What do you mean? Hey, I'm telling you, if you just left my house, you're asking me if I'm okay. Larry, forget the fact that I play with you guys. I am not as simple as you think. Really? Let her desist from coming to my house. One has to leave. Why are you attacking me unnecessarily? Why are you making every effort to make me angry this night? Juliet is right here beside me. She is lying beside me. We are on bed. How can you say she just left your house? Tell me why are you like this? You must surely be an idiot to think you can pull that kind of joke with me. What do you mean she's there with you? Listen to me. I am moving through the door. If she stands on my way, I'm going to crush her. I swear I will crush her. Tell her that. Can you imagine Jeremy calling me an idiot? 
that he's a movie great, Jerry Maguire. You know, I have only seen that your friend once, and I have never liked him. Jeremy is not my friend. I mean, going by the real meaning of the word friend, Jeremy is not my friend. The relationship is that we both attended the same primary school, not even secondary school, the same primary school or Abika Central School in our village. The school is still there. We attended the school. And we came to this town only to discover that we are doing the same business. Jeremy is not my friend. Whatever it is, I don't want to ever see him. Settle. Is that why you are very angry? Because of Jeremy. Jeremy is an idiot. As soon as I set my eyes on Jeremy tomorrow morning, I am going to pass that information because of him. Jeremy must not come to this house again. Who is Jeremy? Jeremy is not going to Jeremy is not That's my boy. The good evil. Come on. Honestly, I don't know where you started with him, you see. And I don't want to believe that you are the one telling Sophia to be suspicious of her husband. Honey, I never said anything like that. So what, what did you say? All I told her was that her husband is a very honorable man and then she should try to trust him. Then why were you snooping around asking after the loan as if you had any affiliation with the business? <sighs> Honey, you're still not getting me. Sophia communicated her position to her husband. She wasn't comfortable with him taking the loan. So why did he still go ahead and take the loan even without... I told him to take the loan. Yes, I encourage him to take it because he needs it. Tony's business needs that loan to survive. And every other business does. Honey, I agree with you. Come listen, listen, let me, let me, let me clarify you, Shuzi. You cannot discourage a man from collecting a loan that is going to boost his business, put his business into the next level, just because of some flimsy uh, 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 excuses. It doesn't make sense. So I told him to take the loan. Honey, I agree with you completely. But I still have a problem that he did not discuss extensively with his wife before going ahead to take the loan. Why? Come on. He should have at least talked to his wife. Who told you he did not discuss with the wife? He spoke with her extensively, but Sophia wouldn't budge. I even had to come in. I tried to convince Sophia, but she wouldn't, she, she wouldn't agree. She was giving me excuses about Njideka's uh, marriage that crashed for whatsoever reason. Look, a businessman that needs money does not rely on such nonsense to survive, okay? So I had to tell him to go ahead and take the loan. It's best for him. You know what? What? Disappointed about what? I am disappointed that you, ha, huh, Fred, that you of all people could encourage your friend to disobey his wife? Sweetheart, I did not advise him to disobey his wife. I encouraged him to do the right thing. That's all. Taking the loan was the right thing for his company. Fred, Fred. Come on, what are we talking about here? The guy has collected the loan and his business is booming now. Enter a testimony to it, enter a witness to that. Is he not making progress now? What are we talking about here? Look, this is okay. Ah. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want this discussion anymore. Please, I'm hungry. We're discussing something very important and the next thing you're talking about is food. We are done with the matter. So won't I eat again? You told me dinner was going to be ready very soon. I'm hungry now. You know I just came in. Sandra, can we continue this conversation tomorrow because I'm getting sleepy and I know it's late. You're already going to sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sir. There are some things I really need us to talk about right now. What issues? I saw the proposal you sent to the ABC Chemical Limited. I'm not comfortable with some things there. Sorry. What aren't you comfortable with? Why? Mr. Odogo, my company granted you the loan because we want you to make money. I was appointed as a monitoring officer simply because we can't afford to see you make mistakes. 
Ah, uh, I really want to see the proposals you're sending out and the conditions attached to them. That shouldn't be a problem. I can tell you right away that it can never be a problem. From now onwards, whatever proposal go in or come out of this company, you will know. We will run it by you. Yes? That's okay. I'll let you sleep now. Uh, please, when you get to the office tomorrow, you call me. There's this um, import company was said, please. We are financing as well. I want you to meet their head of logistics. I'm sure you have business to do with them. Okay, that would be nice. I can't wait to meet those people. You know, hey, Sandra. I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. You know, you've been good. You're the best thing that's happened to me. And I feel indebted to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful. Good night, Sandra. Bye. Jeremy, I am not going to stand here forever. I have an important business to catch by 11. So, can I just go now? You cannot go. That business can wait. Larry, you have to listen to me because I smell danger. What danger? If you were telling me the truth that that girl was lying right beside you when you were answering my call, then you have to do everything within your powers. I mean, everything possible to get rid of that girl. Send her out of your house. Because I put that call across the very moment she left my presence. Do you know, do you know, do you know I don't know why you are shouting? I can bet you with all the things I have that you don't know the person you saw. Are you listening to me? You don't know the person you saw. Larry, that girl must be something else to have the past to be at two different places at the same time. She was the one who came to warn me to stay off her fiance. And I am telling you, Jeremy, I am telling you right away that it was not Juliet that came to warn you. Listen to me. She was lying right beside me when I took your call. She can't be the person that came to warn you. Are you telling me that you don't know that I have too many women in my life? It is possible that any of any of these too many women came to warn you that night. It can't just be Juliet. It cannot be Juliet, Jeremy. Can't you just get this? Larry, are you trying to tell me I don't know Juliet anymore? Of course. You don't know her. Hey. No, you don't. Okay, fine. Let's, let's not go into all that now. Let's not go into all that. Please. Now, answer me as a friend. This Juliet girl you picked from the street, has you proposed to her? Yeah, just give me a yes or no answer. Are this what I'm saying? Why are you provoking me? Now you want me to answer you yes or no? You want to reduce this? No. Is there any judge sitting? Is there any judge here? Why was it the answer now? Do you know what? You check out history. I mean international history, not all this local history. People are keeping around here. I'm talking of international history. You will discover that international history is strictly men who found wonderful women along the streets and married them. And they turned around to be angels. They're actually recreating their lives. I want you to go back to your office, Jeremy, and do some business for yourself. Stop poking into what doesn't concern you. You're not a book master. Or are you suddenly a book master, Jeremy? Please. Why is this man trying to dare me? Why? Why is he playing with death?
people that want to scatter homes with I gossip. I am not listening to anybody. First, I caught her embracing my husband. Embracing your husband? What is wrong with that? Your husband is a businessman, so he can embrace any person. All right. I guess you can now give kudos to all those women married to politicians who embrace over a hundred women just in one day. I don't have a problem with the embrace either. So what is it? She said, I didn't want her to ever get angry. Because if she ever did get angry, it would be a huge problem for you. You said that? Why would I come here to lie to you? He also said she was wonderful and she was the best thing that ever happened to him. How could you ever possibly say that to a woman? I mean, another woman. Okay, you know what? Now you continue to take good care of my grandson. I will handle it, okay? okay? We cannot afford to make any mistakes. So, so, I bought that drink for you and you've not touched it. Now, can you please take your glass? Have a sip. Come on, for me or else I'm not going to handle the situation. Mother, Sophia came here and alerted an into woman. Is that why you asked me to drop whatever I was doing to be here so you talk to me about this? You know, the way you sounded less credence to our fears. Don't you care about how the poor girl feels? She has no reason to have any negative feeling. She is the one who has developed into this busybody person. I don't even know what is happening. Who is Sandra? Oh, she told you about Sandra. Yes, she did. Who is she? I can't even believe this. Sandra is the girl that works with Daisy's finances. She's been appointed as my monitoring officer, period. Oh, and I hope Sophia also told you it's the same company that gave me 300 million naira to facilitate my, my business. So, because she's the one monitoring your account, you, you, you have the nerve to tell her she's the best thing that happened to you? You know what, Mom? I have things to do. Will you stop that? The love of money is the root of all evil. So says the Bible. And I also believe in that. Now the fact that some stupid girl helped you to get some kind of loan from my company does not mean you, you have to, to turn your back on your poor wife. That girl gave you a son. And you'd better look after them or else your son will grow up to hate you. I have seen it happen a lot of times and I would not want it to happen to my own son. Mother, I think this conversation is a waste of time because I don't intend to turn my back on Sophie. Not today. Not tomorrow. I am a good person here. You have a funny way of showing it. Oh God! What's going on here? Love is sweet, love is strong, they say. But a face when you look, then you leap, then you can't find a feeling. It's a terrible world, full of mystery, full of mystery. So let's watch. Mr. Kun? Sir. I call you to know your corporate impression of Sandra. I, 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 I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand what you mean by corporate impression. Well, Sandra walked into my office this morning with a memo. If you will remember, we agreed to release the sum of 300 million to Tony Odobu and company and monitor their business for three months to see if they are qualified for an additional loan of 200 million. Now we have not monitored them for more than five weeks. Why would Sandra want me to release this, the remaining balance when we are still monitoring the one we released? Uh, sir, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Sandra is the only uh, officer monitoring that company. Uh, uh, she's the only person that can say when and why the money should be released to the company before the agreed date. I understand the managing director of that company is good looking. Are you sure Sandra has not gone unethical and is now emotionally attached to that man? Oh no sir. Uh, if you assume such, uh, you undermine Sandra's person. She's too corporate. 
too efficient driven to uh, emotionally attach herself to some company just because the uh, MD is good looking. So why would she want me to release the remaining balance when we are still monitoring the one we released? I don't know, sir. Sandra is the only person that should answer that question. Uh, moreover, she's uh, a decisive uh, financial expert of this company. Sir, I don't think Sandra, honestly, Sandra cannot wrongly advise this company.
you're saying for me. Listen, you have just 10 minutes to leave this house on your own, or I'm going to kill you and bury you here in this compound. In this compound. Honey, I need to explain. Hmm? So, you want me to leave your house after you have proposed to me? I don't want to do anything with you. Something is wrong with you and you cannot get me. Just leave on your own. And you need to give me the truth. I don't want to join the with you. Mm. Are you living on your own? Or do you want me to show you something that is mighty and evil? Do you? I will pay you back! that Juliet is an evil girl. Extremely evil. I got back to my house and I heard wishes singing. Crystal clear, I heard wishes singing. And you won't believe this. I actually caught Juliet dancing what I can conveniently call dance of death. Jesus, right? But I've always told you the truth. I've always known this. And I confirmed it the very day you told me she was lying on your bed. Because it wasn't up to a minute she left my house. I called you and you told me she was lying right beside me. So how could she have left my house immediately and got into your place and was already lying on your bed? Jeremy, believe you me when I say she was lying on my bed. She was actually lying there that night you called me. I was bewitched by her charisma and chemistry. By her physique. Do you know that after I ordered her to leave my house, I was peeping through the window. Then I saw her transform into something and then she vanished. Jesus Christ. What? I saw her vanish. As I sit here with you now, Jeremy, I am afraid of going back to the house. She disappeared. I'm afraid. <sighs> my brother, that's not. A reason why you should have scorned from your house. No normal man will have scorned from his house because of. Jeremy, am I still a normal man? Look, look at me. Am I still a normal man? Jeremy, I slept with a spirit. Spirit. I slept with her. And the spirit left my house in anger. You see? You see, many of these girls you see parading their beauty along the highway are not human. Majority of them are demons unleashed on earth to go and take vengeance on me. I don't take the vengeance of men. Did I do anything to them? I don't they take vengeance on me. Uh, it's just a pity that you had to learn your own lesson the hard way. I'm sorry. Should I be sincere with you, Jeremy? What? I am not in a hurry to go back to that house. Your house? In the house where I slept with a spirit that vanished right before my eyes. I am not in a hurry to go back to that house. I am going to hang around or hang out or whatever and wait for all, all her leftover, her honor, her aura, everything. I must have to wait outside for everything to fade out. If I go back there, you know, I'm a man to understand. 
several others though, outside of town, you know, and I want you to know. I don't understand what you mean by boosting. Well, to think that um, if, if MDs or various companies, you know, are more relaxed, they socialize, you know, so on, it'll make them work effectively. That's not where you come from. Okay. Why? The hotel has already been booked, everything has been paid for. Come on. I'm not in the mood for parties. I didn't say anything about party. I said we're going to socialize. Right? MDs or various companies will be there. We just socialize, you know, meet other people and see how it goes. Come on. I'm sorry if I didn't say the right thing. I am not going. I didn't invite you. I called you into this office to address you officially. The only reason why this company is still standing above others is because we don't allow sentiments to be cloud a sense of judgment. We look at issues critically, and whatever decision we arrive at always yield positive result. We employed you to work as my senior special assistant because we are convinced with your credentials. You are answerable to me. I want you to discharge your duties without fear or favor. If you are confused anyhow, you come to me. Or, where on the contrary, you can go to Mr. Kobe. All the things you need to succeed have been provided for, so you don't have any reason to fail. Do you have any more questions? Um, actually, sir. Something has been bothering me. And what is it? My apartment letter doesn't state what time I resume for work or close from work. I was thinking if that's an omission or perhaps the rule. It is neither an omission nor the rule. You are working directly under the managing director as a senior special assistant, and that's entails unqualified dedications. Most often I work late into the night. And I don't expect you to leave the office while I'm still here working. So you can now see the reason why your resumption and closing hours were not mentioned in your appointment letters. The most important thing is that for every overtime you did, you must be handsomely rewarded. Any more questions? Oh, no, no, sir. Okay. An official car without a driver is provided for the office. Meet Mr. Cook. We will guide him accordingly. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Mr. Thank you so much. I'm really nice to see you. Thank you so much. told me that she has masters in human psychology, another masters in crisis management. They are very much convinced that she could do this good work as the SSA to the MD. That's why she was employed. Even you surprise me. Our company is a financial institution. We need financial experts. We need men and women who can manage funds. And not some psychologists or some crisis managers. We don't need, we don't have crisis in our company. Sandra, you begin to give me the impression that you don't want to see. Okay? 
they didn't employ her to come manage funds. She's only coming to assist the NB in his office. And that was the reason she was employed. You're disappointing me, really. You're really disappointing me. Tony, I think you're being ridiculous. Why are you now complaining now that your wife is done? But you know what I think? I think Sophia took that job just to be fulfilled. Nothing else. Because you don't expect a woman of her status with first class in psychology and two master's degree to be reduced to a housewife. Maybe that's what you're trying to do to her. And she doesn't want it. I think she took that job just to be fulfilled, to have something to do rather than sit at home. I think you should support her. Fred, I'm even surprised at you. I'm surprised at what you're talking about. You know, do, do you know that Sophia is not taking care of the kids the way I want her to? Yeah, but that's why she employed the help of a babysitter. Well, to hell with the babysitter! Listen. I think Sophia needs all the support she can get from you now. Okay? I believe she took that job just to be fulfilled. I don't even understand you. Why are you supporting her and not me? I'm not supporting her because you are my friend or she's your wife. I'm telling you what I'll do if I were in your shoes. Well, if you were in my shoes, you would do exactly what I'm doing now. No way. That is what you will be doing. No. Why are you acting as if you don't know what happens in the corporate world, the real world? She's working for this MD who doesn't even know what to do with his own money. Sophia is irresistibly unique. She's beautiful, she's charming, she's everything. He will spend any amount. I'm sure he's lusting after her now as we speak. He will spend any amount to sleep with her. And then what happens? I'll be someone who I'm just there. I don't want that to happen. Honestly, I feel like smacking your face right now. Whatever. Did you realize you just insulted your wife before me? Oh, come on. You don't have to be disappointed. Why are you disappointed? You talk as if you're not a man. You don't know what a man will do or how much he's going to spend to, 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 to get a woman in debt. What's your problem? I'm not comfortable with her working as a special assistant to the MD. Period! Look up. Let me give you a piece of advice. I think you should be thankful to your God every day for having Sophia as your wife. Come on, man. Sophia is too principled. She's too disciplined to engage in such a stupid act. Come on, man. You've got to have some trust for her. It's not right. I think she took that job not because of money, but just to be fulfilled, to have something doing, rather than sitting at home. Hey, come on, friend. What can your mind for? So I want you employ her. If she wants to be fulfilled, you employ her. <laughs> Actually employ her. <laughs> You know I don't like coming to this place when there's no business. You know. I don't know why you would like asking me stupid questions. Did you hear how the phone? My guy, relax. She's on her way.
would you want this beautiful girl killed? You call that bastard beautiful? Yes. See that bitch? She's trying to outshine me in the eyes of my MD, and I'm not going to allow that happen. I don't mind you're going to date him. Just kill her for me. I'm not sure that person. I'm not sure. The address is not the problem. Are you game for the job? If you can give us 400,000 naira, we'll be looking for you. 400,000 naira? For what now? To kill a lady without hands? Ha! I don't have that kind of money. Where would I get that kind of money from? The money is 300,000. Bring the money, give us the address. If you don't want to bring the money, go and kill her by yourself. Love is trust, the deepest trust. Love is sure to play us games. We need trust to run this race. And we'll lead to the so next days. Look into your mm -hmm. eyes and you'll see all the shadows. Don't so hard to be what is it? I want you to resign. Tony, why would you say anything like that? Because I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable with your work. I don't like what you're doing. I mean, look at the babysitter. You passed the kids onto the babysitter. Whether she's doing the right thing or not, I don't even know. It's not like I'm a poor man. I don't need anything. I can even pay you double what your office is paying me. I just want to stay home and take care of the kids. That's what I want. Tony, do you really think I work because I lack anything? No. I work because I don't want my certificate to be useless. I work because I want to keep my brain busy. I don't understand. Why would you ask me to resign? Listen, before we started, I said I want to ask you for something. Please don't say no. Why are you asking me why now? Because you don't sound like a Tony. I read it. My love, you were the one who asked me to apply for that job in that company. Why ask me to resign now? Because I didn't think that when you applied, they were going to employ you anything more than the normal staff. And, and suddenly they pushed you up, promote you to, to be the special assistant to the MD. I don't like it, I'm not comfortable. Please, please resign, please. Are you angry that I got promoted? I am not angry. I'm just trying to tell you it's not normal. It's not normal for, for any person to walk into a company and instead of you beginning at level one, they, they push you up to the fourth level. It, it's not normal. Let Come on, I don't want you working there. I don't like it. Now let me remind you, Tom. I got promoted based on my credentials. I have masters in two areas they found relevant. And you just you just sit and you ask me to, to resign? Just resign? Sophie, if, if 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 you want to keep your brain busy, maybe you should apply at the polytechnic. They will gladly employ you as a lecturer. And I'm okay with that. I mean you're working nine to five. I'm I'm fine with that. I don't like the idea of you working for a money bag. I don't like it. If you, if you want to make me happy, then you, you do as I say, please. I'm not comfortable. Love is trust, the deepest trust. Love is sure to play us games. We need trust to run this race. And we'll leave till endless days. Why would you tell your wife to resign her job just because she's working under a millionaire? It all smells of insanity. Mother, do you know what work she does? Do you know what she's been employed as? She's the senior special assistant to the managing director. Do you know what that entails? And what is wrong with that? Why are you suddenly turning into a flipping tongue overnight? Allow her to do what gives her joy, please. I'm surprised you're speaking this way. Very surprised. Okay, did she tell you that she breastfed Emeka for only two months? And passed him on to the babysitter who's giving some silly animal milk I don't know about? I didn't marry her to make money because I make enough. I married her because I wanted to take care of the children properly. You know, you're beginning to sound just like your father. Her mom, please give me a break. That's exactly what he did to me. He cajoled me into becoming a housewife. 
He practically forced me into resigning my job as an air hostess at the defunct British Caledonian Airways. I'm not going to sit back and let you unleash such nonsense on your wife. You married a God-fearing wife. Mom, are you on her side? Are you against me? You can say whatever you like, but I'm not going to stand back and see you treat her that way. Allow the poor girl to make use of her certificates. I'm surprised the way you talk about it. I am. Do, do, do you know what it takes? Do you know what it takes to see Sophia walking around an office? As sexy and irresistible as she is, walking around an office with some millionaire who doesn't even know what to do with his goddamn money? He's just gonna throw it at her, lavish her with money, and then BAM! It happens. Oh, I'm just, not ready to share my wife. Because I have been faithful. You've just confirmed something. You don't even know the kind of woman you married. And for your information, not every man are into women. Look, I don't want her calling me and crying into my ears on the phone, please. So please just allow her to do what gives her joy. Okay, that's, that's just all I, I called you. Let's check what's on the file. Shall they get this letter before the end of business today? Okay. Uh, are you aware you are following me to just on the great date? Sorry. You are following me to just on the great date. Okay. I mean, sir, I, I was never told that my job included traveling with you. Besides, my husband will not allow me to leave town. There are certain things you don't expect corporate organizations to put down in writing. You are my senior special assistant, and you don't expect me to attend a conference with you at my shift head, do you? I don't have a problem, sir. I mean, honestly, I don't. The problem is my husband. He's very uncomfortable with my job. I don't see what I could ever say to him that warrants him or make him allow me to travel with you on the 20th. Well, in that case, it is important you tell your husband I am not after his wife. <laughs> if I were the kind of man that is a total man, I wouldn't have made a woman my chief head. So, there is no way I will attend a conference without my chief head. So you prepare your mind and get set you are traveling with me to just on the 20th. Right? Okay, sir. I you are welcome. Don't! Don't! 
get down. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Sorry to bother you. Actually, we need some assistance from you. What kind of assistance? We came into town to see our boss. But we didn't know that he traveled. And uh, as it stands now, we are, we, uh -huh. we, are, we are stranded. We just need some money to wait for you. That's my guy over there. Please, sir. Come on, All right, sir. They are out of trouble. All right, sir. God bless you. All right. Sophia, you see what your late night is costing us? You see what it has just cost us now? It's not about you going to Jaws or not going to Jaws. You know what? My word is final. From today, you're not working in that company. Milo, why are you sounding like this? Those hoodlums couldn't have been from Daisy's finances. And you know that. They couldn't have been from there. No, where are they from? My company? Are they from my company? Huh? Fred called me, spoke for over 20 minutes. You're not going to Joss. If you have a problem, then why don't you prepare and go with me? So if you just listen to yourself, you want me to stop my work and follow you to Joss? Just for me to be sure that I'm yours and yours only. Please, my love, let me go. I won't let you down. I don't understand you. I don't understand you anymore. I'm telling you. I don't understand you. Just look at what happened to me.
Are you out of your mind? How can you drink that mad woman, that good for nothing woman, to this our room? Are you crazy, Banky? I directed her because she said you guys were not picking her calls. And no one is speaking sense to me either. What do you want to hear that we're not telling you, Banky? What do you want to hear that we're not telling you, Banky? I want to know the reason why we left without a gunshot. After all the time wasted on training her. Listen, Banky. One good turn deserves another. Do you get that? I don't understand what you mean by one good turn deserving another. Rogers, tell him what we saw. We went to the house, we met her with her husband. If he must go. And so? He overpowered you guys or what? Hey, 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 Banky, why are you asking too many nonsense questions? What is wrong with you? You are mad! I ask questions because I want to know the reason why. We planned a hit and you guys failed at the point of execution. And no one is speaking sense to me. Now, Banky, you listen. We once got stranded with Petro Station. We wanted to buy food. The man that gave us 20,000 naira turned out to be the husband of the same woman we were meant to assassinate. Banky, we are talking about a man we do not know. Giving us 20,000 naira. Now tell me, what rights do we have to assassinate the wife? Tell me. But she paid us 300,000 for the. So? And so? Go and check if it's knocking. Wrong. You raped again and still murder her. And you banking. You don't know how indebted we are to the man. She asked us to kill his wife. And we won't work from you. We won't work from you. I bet you. I will make you follow her. And it won't work from you. Came for trouble and you ended in trouble. Did you get 
get our text. Yeah, I got the SMS, but I don't understand what it meant. Well, it means that you don't have any reason to suspect your wife. Well, fine, I don't suspect her anymore. For me, it has been concretized. She is dating her boss. But all of you say, hey, I should let it go. Fine, I'll let it go. I mean, sooner or later, it's going to come out. The truth will come out. Fine. You know, I never realized all this while that Chifu Kadiki is actually the person your wife is working with. So you know him? Of course I know him. I know him very, very well. Okay, so it stops him from dating her? It doesn't? Of course it does. You see, he has a physical problem that stops him from having anything physical to do with any woman. What? All right, I'll tell you about it. See, I've known him for a long time. His wife happened to be the president of the Women Fellowship. Now, before he became the MD, he had this accident while exercising on a bike. It was such a bad accident that um, he lost his testicles and his, um, you know, got slightly, well, really damaged. So he can't have anything to do with any woman. He is a man of great integrity. I don't know exactly what else you want me to tell you. But that man, Okadike, is not into all that nonsense. He's not into that at all. Now your fear that he might be sleeping with your wife is unfounded. The whole thing is crystal clear. I've checked. The man is not into that. He's not into women. I don't know what else to tell you. You've got to work on your emotions. Please, just do these things. Make things very easy for everybody. And even for yourself. Learn to trust your wife, even for once, please. At least. Understand. I don't understand. You don't, don't understand what is happening here. Mm. Juliet is Jezebel. Mm. Juliet is Jezebel. They have striking resemblance to them. Juliet Jezebel. I even see the synchronism and the synchronized together. That girl that I picked from the streets has proved to be the very definition of horror. She has returned me to zero. As I sit here with you, Jeremy, I have placed a permanent course on that very day. I picked her from that nonsense street in DDPA. I have placed a course not only along the streets, even the people that are living in the streets, even I have even kept it to place a court on DDPA. Even the whole DDPA. No sense DDPA is dick. No sense. I don't understand. Did she come back to your house? No, the woman, she didn't come back to my house. I was coming back to in my house to live fast. Living physical in my house. Jeremy, you see, that very day, she left my house. That evening that she, I pursued her, from my house, she said something that I believe. I never believe. I will pay you back! She has finally proved to be the very definition of nonsense, the very definition of evil, the very definition of taboo. Julia is evil. As you are seeing me here now, Jeremy, my friend. I am as basic as what the basic men you see walking in the streets. I, I actually do not understand all this. Please, could you, could you come down and explain to me what you mean? Because I don't get you one, I don't get you one bit. You see, eh, this is, 
since all these banks we have in this country, you know, the banks, since they started to crash without notice, mm -hmm. you put money in the bank today, you go to the bank tomorrow, and, and the bank has closed without notice, your money is gone. You are, you are confused. Ever since that, that my people began to get confused of the money they put in the bank. Jeremy, I, I let a new pattern overnight. Overnight, I just let a new pattern. What is it? I was converting all my money to a hard currency. I would make every money into liquid cash. I convert the money to a hard currency. You know you're my friend, but you don't know how much I have. In my house, Jeremy, I have a safe. A safe, very good safe. You open it with number combination. I... God. The makers of the safe, they told me that even if fire will cut the whole house, that everything I kept inside the safe will be safe. I believe them. Mm -hmm. I believe them. <laughs> Inside the safe, Jeremy, I kept seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Yes, seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars that I kept in the safe in my house. You had this kind of money in the house? Yes, yeah. <laughs> dollars. It's not cities. It's not cities. It's not say this is it's dollars. I get back to my house, Jeremy. And I I I I combine the number of the safe. I open the safe. And you discover that the, the base woman you brought to your house has stolen and has gone with the whole money? You know why you like this? The Lord says, Juliet did he steal the money? I was looking at the money. The money was looking at me. I was looking at the money, the money was looking at me. Then why are you organizing it? I was looking at the money, Jeremy. Seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. And then I I I I I was moving in, in slow motion. I was moving in slow motion. Slow motion. I was going to touch this money, Jeremy. The money just do fresh. The money has been converted to dust. Those, those, those. Well, I, I don't understand that. Wait, I didn't Juliet just appeared. Yeah, like I was, I was, I was telling me that what just happened to me, the conversion of my seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars to dust is just the beginning of what is going to happen to me. You know me? I don't know what is planning to do to me. You know, this girl appeared for the street. It didn't appear. You see what I've been telling you? Now, am I not vindicated, Larry? Am I not? Yes, you are. I've always told you this girl is evil. She meant no good. You are even lucky she didn't kill you. After so many years of sleeping, they just woke up one day. They said they want to rebrand. They want to rebrand Nigeria. Say, would you be good to get one another? And I just saw the girl stranded and say, I do remember. I just. How would I know that she's an evil spirit? What kind of rebranding? You, you, you think by picking people along the streets and taking them to your house, you are rebranding the country? It's not done that That's way. what they are saying. They are saying, would you rebrand this country? Would you begin to get one another? Say for another $80,000 that I said for so many years. It's gone. It's gone, Jeremy. No the majority of the people you see on that street are not humans. You said that to me before. I don't know what I'm going to do, Jeremy. I'm finished.
我有买回到去吗？老兵啊，我还能住回到去吗？老兵啊。You married me at the point when I felt like I'd wish the end. And you gave me something. That thing was love. I love you. And I forgive you. We need trust to run this race And we'll leave till endless days I look into your eyes and I see it on the shadow Don't swear what we've got through the window Cause this trust is a raging storm It destroys the cell of blood So trust me Learn to trust me So trust me So trust me. So trust me. Learn to trust me. So trust me. My eyes are heavy because of love. My soul is broken. Where is the love I used to know? Where is the feeling you've always shown? 